Boxing fans, where you at? Worldwide. Coming to you live from Montego Bay, Jamaica. Home of Nicholas Axeman Walters. Let's talk boxing. What's up, boxing fans? It's me, your boy, Sean Hicks. Get ready to take you guys inside the ring to discuss none other than a big fight coming up in May. Uh, May 4th, that is, in Las Vegas. We have Canelo Alvarez versus Danny Jacobs. Not only is it going to be a, a good fight, it's going to be a great fight. And me and your boy Manny Marrero are going to break it down for you in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here you go. Now, while many feel that Jacobs doesn't have much of a chance to, to win the fight or, um, you know, really doubt his abilities or skills, I point you guys back to uh, March 18, 2017. Well, Danny Jacobs did a fantastic job going all the way the distance with Mr. Gennady Golovkin, um, the bad man himself, the boogeyman, uh, Triple G. Um, how he did that was by being versatile, skilled, and switching up within the fight, changing to a southpaw stance, making it able to lead his right hand. Um, there was questioning regarding how he ballooned up to 182 pounds. There is a clause in this fight where he can't exceed up to 170 pounds and there's also a rule where you can't be above 10 pounds past the weigh in weight um but that's not what it's going to take for him to win the fight honestly i feel that um for canelo to be effective he's going to have to fight more of a fight um you know of being to himself of going forward i'm sorry of being uh a counter puncher when he's being a counter puncher he's most effective granted when he was in the second fight with triple g being canelo he did a fantastic job where he was really effective where he was able to uh be the aggressor and uh cut off the ring uh change up with different angles i don't see that working in this fight against um danny jacobs jacobs is going to be the, he's the bigger man um, he's definitely versatile. He can go and cut angles off. Um, he can fight and go side to side really well, really agile, and has a real, real powerful, devastating right hand. Um, while I know a lot of people will give the nod as far as skill set, myself included, to Canelo, you cannot deny the fact that um, Danny Jacobs is definitely a truth as regarding skill set and has a strong ability to really uh, change things up and cause a lot of problems for uh, Canelo. Um, honestly, the way I see the fight going, I don't see a knockout. I really don't see, um, there may be some knockdowns potentially, but I see it going the distance and it being a very, very extremely close fight. Um, what I would, but how I see Danny Jacobs winning the fight is not switching up, but starting to fight off as a southpaw, um, being the aggressor, um, trying to cut off those angles and try to lead off when, uh, with the right hand to kind of distance, use your strength with the jab, and really set the tone early to make sure that he can set and get some early rounds. He sits back and, um, you know, kind of waits and allows, uh, you know, uh, Canelo to settle in. It's not going to work out for him. But that's how I see it. But how do you see it? Let's hear from Manny and see what he thinks. Typically, he doesn't agree with me. And that's okay. Hey, boxing fans. Welcome to our first edition, Inside the Ring with Manny and Sean. Detailing you the next big fight is going to happen in Las Vegas is coming up May. Saul Canelo Alvarez taking on the strong, intelligent, fast Daniel Jacobs. And I'm going to break it down easy. First of all, I'm going to tell you I'm not going to take anything away, okay, from Daniel Jacobs. I think he's an inspiration to all of us. I think he is in his prime. But at the same time, we admire the fact that he won the biggest battle of his life. There's no doubt they call him the miracle. There's no doubt he's got a strong jab. He's got a very high IQ 
when it comes inside the boxing ring. And at the same time, he's a strong puncher. These are some of the things that I don't think Canelo has seen yet. But at the same time, you can't part away with the fact that you're boxing. A Mexican brawler, someone that doesn't give up, someone that's, that's tough, doesn't back out at all in any time. Someone that gave a very strong battle to one of the biggest sensations in sports nowadays, Triple G. First fight, Triple G Canelo, I mean, we can talk all day long about that. I think, I think you know, it is what it is. Second fight, I believe that Canelo had the slight edge. And I think that the level of understanding the opponent on behalf of Canelo is, it's in a different level, okay? The training, the strength, the guy is strong. And I want you guys to take a quick look at a fight. Daniel Jacobs and Derevinchenko. I, I pretty much analyzed this fight and I think this is gonna be almost a replica to that fight. The, the difference is that Canelo is a much stronger boxer, much intelligent boxer than Derevinchenko. When you look at Jacobs and see the way he approaches to, to, his, to his opponent, he's got a strong jab, very fast. And I think that may be the key to Jacob, but at the same time, take a look at that fight. He struggled to really get Derevinchenko to hold him and stop him. Although, yes, he clearly won the fight, no doubt about it. He did actually knock the man as well. All right, with overhand right hand punched all the way to the top, that's a strong punch, okay? But you're fighting against Canelo Alvarez. Mexican style brawler, doesn't give up. He's gonna take those punches. He's gonna take those jabs. But at the same time, he's gonna make you pay for that. Combinations, his quickness, and the ability to remain strong at the middleweight, that's what's gonna be the factor in this fight. Jacob, no doubt about it. We're gonna see him do the things he does inside the ring. He's going to improve. A lot of people are giving, you know, chances to him, and I, I think he's got a legitimate chance. I mean, any, anything can happen inside that ring. But at the same time, guys, come on, let's be more, let's smart about this, all right? Canelo is a tough fighter, and it doesn't give up. It's like punching someone with your best shot, and the guy still comes at you. Look at the fight, Daniels and, and Derevinchenko. Derevinchenko never gave up. He was always in there and in his face and was actually able to, and he was shorter. He's actually a little bit shorter than Canelo. Okay, can you imagine having someone that you can just hit your best shot and he still comes at you? That's what you're gonna be looking in Canelo. Coming May, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of differences in opinion, as my friend buddy out there, Sean, but you got, you got, you got some good points out there, buddy. But what I'm gonna tell you is the following. Come May. You're gonna see the toughest fighter come in and destroy Daniel Jacobs. Until next time, and I'll see you next. Keep watching us, keep giving us some reviews, and I hope you guys continue to stay plugged in to one of the best sports in history. Long live boxing, inside the ropes, Manny and Sean.